Hey guys, what's up? It's Eli. Uh, forgive me for the kind of uh, shitty quality of this video. Um, it's dark in my bedroom and I have a headache that's turning into a migraine, but this is like the fourth time I've had troubles posting this video and I really wanted to I'll throw it out there and get it off my chest and see what others have to say, similar experiences, so I'm trying again. Um, yesterday afternoon I took my daughter to the Y and I had signed us up for um, parent-child swim classes, um, which I didn't think about it when I did it. The fact that I would have to then get into a swimsuit and get into the pool with her, which initially in my brain wasn't going to be a big deal and then as it got closer I started freaking out about it and how am I going to be comfortable swimming um, and being in a swimsuit and being in the pool with all those other people around um, and I really got worked up over it and I ended up taking her anyways I almost didn't but I ended up taking her and she had a ton of fun and it it was fine um, sorry I'm really fidgety it's the headaches all in the back of my head and coming up here and uh. um it turned out fine uh she loved it um my two biggest issues were one uh i hadn't really been there to like scope things out and she was napping so i waited until it was really close to time for class before we went um which was a stupid idea and i should have just gotten her up and foregone her uh, nap a little earlier so that we could get there but they have family um, locker rooms they're just like a room with a bench and a locking door and um, I had changed at home and I knew that would be more comfortable for me and we could shower when we got home because we don't live that far so I wasn't worried about the showers um, so I dressed at home and then I was gonna dress her but then I decided to dress her when we got there I had to ask somebody where the family locker rooms were um, because they're not attached to the men's or the women's and I just figured that would be more comfortable that I don't have to deal with looks in the women's with my facial hair and stuff um, which is a lot thicker and coming in really well now and is totally visible. I got served this morning at breakfast. Yeah. Um, but so I had to ask somebody where uh, the family locker rooms were and then I had um, to wait for like five to ten minutes somewhere in there we were running late for class already and we were already late so um, we just went into the pool area through the side door and um, and then after we got into the pool area then I just changed her in there and we got in the pool and I would wore my women's suit um, just to try to keep my breasts reined in basically because I don't have a swim top um, so I had wore my board shorts and then a women's suit that I had found in my bottom drawer and uh, um, and then an exercise shirt I had I wore the exercise shirt over the top which worked until I got in the pool and then as soon as it got wet they were sticking out and that was the end of that um, and so uh, she had a ton of fun. One of the things that the kids did was jump in the pool from the side of the pool. And my daughter's only 17 months, so around a year and a half. And we had never let her really jump in the pool before. I never really thought about it. But she jumps off of the bar, coffee table. <laughs> yeah, I let her climb on the coffee table. She jumps off the coffee table to me all the time. So she really enjoyed that. She had a ton of fun jumping off the side of the pool. Anyways, uh... Oh, sorry. She had fun at swim class, and when it was all said and done, like, I was glad that I took her. I was glad that she had fun and that she wanted to be there, but still, like, all dysphoric about, um, swimming in the locker rooms and all of that, and just wondering what similar experiences others have had with, uh, um, locker rooms and how you've dealt with that, um, especially I barely pass, like, I would say when I go out and about, like, 
five to ten percent of the time. Um, so I don't not comfortable with the men's locker room at this point. Um, I'm just gonna try to stick to the family locker rooms. Um, any tips on swimming and what I can do to try to hide my chest basically until I get surgery. Um, I came home and told my girlfriend, my fiance, that I'm just need to figure out. Done. Need to figure out how to get surgery and as soon as possible. Because I can't handle it anymore. It's one thing to be a small chested person and uh, have to deal with binding and swimming and everything, but on a regular basis, being so large chested, it's. Um, It's really hard being so large chested and not being able to hide them, not being able to compress them, even with the binder I have. I have another one on the way that'll hopefully help better, but I mean, even just going out to town, you know, the library or to go grab groceries, I barely pass without saying a word. I know my voice is still not very deep and um, kind of feminine. And I try to work on that, but definitely, I know you can't see when it does that, it gets too dark. Um, but definitely I know that uh, as soon as they see my chest. Today I got served at breakfast, I think only because I was wearing the sweatshirt. Um, my girlfriend got it for me last year, it's like a 3X or something, it's huge on me, and I've got all this extra room. And uh, so I had it kind of ballooned out and, you know, slouching over and so they couldn't see my chest which helped and you know makes me feel good when I do get surd so alright anyways I've got to take a nap this headache's ridiculous uh yeah if you guys could just post some comments or whatever um let me know how you deal with the whole swimming thing and if there's any guys out there that watch this um with bigger chests and they know um they have any tips as to how to bind while swimming that'd be awesome or just in general how to bind a bigger chest um also i'll probably make another video about it but i'm really working on my diet and getting things back into control like i really need to lose this weight and it's a whole ordeal with a couple with this medical thing i have and uh and um and my depression but i want to fight it and get rid of it so that I can be healthier and I want to be the guy I see in my head who is not this big guy and that he is skinnier, skinnier, muscular guy with confidence. So, um, yeah, and I recently joined a collab, uh, FTM art collab. I'll put the link down there. Um, so check it out. Check out my first video. I'm just doing monthly right now. Um, check out the other guys. Uh, basically, we cover the topics with art. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. Catch you on the flip side.